what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this particular video I will explain the problem find the closest pair from two arrays well this particular problem is really interesting and based on two pointer approach so guys make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video starting with the problem statement so it says that given two arrays ARR and BRR and a number X your task is to find a pair whose sum is closest to X and pair has an element from each array like one element from ARR and second element from BRR now in the case of multiple closest pairs you have to return any one of them now one note is also given that the output represents the closest difference of the sum with the number X okay now one example is given here but guys before I talk about the example I would like to talk about one important thing I saw a uh, comments of this problem and then I came to know that many students are complaining about wrong output for a particular test case right so wrong output but uh, when I saw some more comments then one student was saying that geeks for geeks compiler is basically assuming that the two arrays are sorted right so they are considering the arrays are sorted always right so let me write here that uh, this is very important observation guys so that uh, you don't get confused about wrong output right so let me write here arrays are always sorted right always sorted this is very important guys now without any further delay uh, let me talk about the constant of the problem as well so the constants are uh, let me write the constant first constants are uh, the value of n and m for this particular input or for any input is going to lie between 1 and 10 raised to the power 5 now one example is given here so let me explain the problem with the given example so see we are given Two values these values are representing the size of two arrays after this we are given a number x as well right so see guys both arrays are sorted and the first array contains element 1 4 5 7 and the second array contains 10 20 30 and 40 our task is to look for two elements one from this array and one from this array and the sum of those two elements should be closest to this particular number so see we are given 32 right so let's start comparing 30 and all these element and then we uh, try to sum up these element like we have 30 and 1 first so it will give me 31 then we have 30 and 4 it will give me 34 then we have 30 and 5 right 30 and 5 so you can see that now guys these element are not as closest to 32 as this particular element so this is the closest element which is 31 and the difference is going to be 1 so that's why 1 is given as the output here now guys I hope you have understood the problem well so without any further delay let's talk about the solution now okay so guys I have written the same example here as given in the problem statement and after looking at the problem explanation the first approach that will come to your mind is quite similar to this one in this particular approach we are going to try out every possible pair so see for uh, this particular number I am going to try out combining this number with every number in the array BRR after this I am going to do the same for this particular number then this number then this number this way I will get every possible pair from this array and then I can simply get the sum and check this particular condition right this is how this particular approach is going to work now guys talking about the time complexity of this approach so see this is a loop which is going to iterate O of n times right okay my bad guys I have written one thing wrong here that I have to iterate m times for this particular uh, loop right because this is loop in array BRR now O of n for this uh, like O of n let me write here and for this O of m right so guys this is how I am going to get my answer so what I can do is I can simply write the time complexity as O of n cross m right now guys see this complexity is not going to work let me explain why this particular complexity solution is not going to work so in order to understand this we need to look at the constants again and see constants are basically saying that the maximum value of n and m can be 10 raised to the power 5 right so see let's say in worst case we have n equals to 10 raised to the power 5 and m equals to 10 raised to the power 5 so it will be 10 raised to the power 5 into 10 raised to the power 5 which is 10 raised to the power 10 operations right but most of the compiler in online sites only uh, allow 10 raised to the power 8 operations per second so that's why this particular approach is not going to work we have to think of an approach which is optimal than this particular approach right so guys now let's talk about the optimal approach that we have so see 
before we talk about the optimal approach we need to understand the problem with the previous approach so let me uh, show you this particular example again and see guys the problem with this particular approach is see let's say i try this particular uh, number in array brr with this particular number so this is going to give me 34 right and i know that 34 is something which is going to give me the difference uh, to which is not closest right because we have most closest as 31 before we come to this particular point we will come to this point now i know one thing that if this is not closest then any number after this because this is a sorted array understand one thing guys this is a sorted array and every number after this will be greater than this four and if i combine greater number with this particular 30 then i am going to get greater number only right so guys this is the problem with this approach that i am trying out these particular pair as well but i can avoid uh, trying these pair if i know that this player uh, this pair is not the closest pair right so guys this is something that we need to understand now we can talk about the optimal approach see let me talk about the approach now guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to point to these two values first this is my j pointer and this is my i pointer and why i am doing this let me explain so let's say i try out these particular pairs so now guys you can see that i have 40 plus 1 right which is going to give me 41 as the sum so guys let me write the pseudocode in parallel as well so i'll write sum equals to array of i plus brr of j isn't it so this is the sum right and now let me write the current sum here which is 1 plus 40 which is nothing but 41 now see one thing that 41 is something i have x as okay i have not written x here right so x is basically equal to 32 so now understand one thing guys that this x this x is something which is smaller than 41 right so i can write a uh, sum i can write sum is basically smaller than okay sum is basically greater than x right so one condition is this one and second possible condition is sum is smaller than equal to x these are the two conditions so first condition for this time we have 32 which is smaller than x so what we can do is we can basically uh decrease this particular value so that this value will come closer to 32 isn't it like we have 32 and then we have 41 here so if we decrease this value then this value will come closer to this value right how we can decrease it so we can simply do j minus minus because this is the largest value and we can look for smaller values as this is a sorted array right so this is sorted array so we can look for smaller values so let me write this observation i can write one thing which is if my sum if my current sum is greater than x then i can do j minus minus right and else if my uh let's say my sum is greater so you can see that uh okay if my sum is smaller so you can see that now we have when we do j minus minus then j will point here and now we have sum as 30 plus 1 which is 31 right so let me write here let me write here so i'll simply write uh i have 1 plus 30 which is nothing but 31 right and now you can see that this sum is smaller than this particular number 32 right so in else case what i'll do is i'll simply say that okay if my 31 is smaller than 32 so i can try to increase this sum so that this sum become a uh, more closer to this particular value 32 so i'll say that okay i can basically try to increase this sum and in order to increase this i can look for greater values i have greater values in array a so i will do simply i plus plus this is one thing that i will do but while iterating see we have to keep track of the closest value as well so what i'll do is i'll simply say that okay now initially our difference is our difference is equal to max right and then we are going to minimize the difference this is how we look for closest value guys let me explain why i am saying this particular thing see we have initially difference is equal to max value let's say i have a number five and i want to check whether a uh, one two three four which number among them is closest to five so you can easily say that four is closest but i want to ask from you that what is the logic you are using uh in order to check so you will say that okay five and one has a difference of four right so i can say that these are four unit apart after this 5 and 2 has a difference of 3 so these are 3 unit apart then these are 2 unit apart then these are 1 unit apart right so i can say that the minimum difference these two number have so that's why 4 is closest to 5 so i i can simply minimize the difference that's why i am saying minimize the difference now i can write one thing here if my 
uh, I I will always look for absolute difference, guys, right? So that I don't like, get negative answer. So I'll say that sum minus x. If this is something which is smaller than difference, then I can say that okay, now my difference is now my new difference is absolute difference of sum minus x, right? Because now I have the closer value and I will keep track of those values as well, like array of i and array of j. So I I am going to have a value one. And value two, right? I'll simply say that okay, value one is equal to array of i, and then value two equal to brr of j, right? Now, this is something that we need to do again and again, guys. So I'm going to have a loop. This loop will say that uh, while my i is smaller than n, the size is n here, and i is going to move towards right. So I'll say that while my i is smaller than n, and and my j is greater than zero because j is moving towards left, so j is greater than equal to zero, right? Now, guys, this is something that we need to do. And initially, i equals to zero and j equals to m minus one. M minus one is this index, right? So, guys, at last we can simply return a list which is containing array of i, which is value one and value two, right? This is all we need to do in order to get the answer. Now, if you ask me the time complexity of this approach, so the time complexity is o of max of n comma m like either it will run n times or it will run m times based on the size right so guys this is about the time complexity space complexity is again you can see that we are storing only two values which is nothing but constant right so space complexity is o of one here now i hope you have understood everything related to this particular problem guys this is the whole approach that we are going to use and this is only pseudo code guys so let me show you the main code in c plus plus java and python so I have the code here. This is my C++ code and this is the Java code guys. And this is the Python and Java code. So you can see that first of all, we have our answer like uh, I don't write, have to write answer here. So, but I'm using answer variable. Uh, this is similar to difference variable. I'm using difference here, right? So guys, after this, I'm using this particular loop and I have the sum and then I want to minimize the sum, right? So guys, this is the approach that we have. And after this, I have written the same approach here as well in Java and this is the code in Python. Now guys, this is all about this video. Thank you.